Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World of Waves as Austria-Hungary. So we're continuing our Dreadnought Ho part 2 now. Uh, I think we're just going to try to plow forward, take the kills we got, and get out of here. Um, I know that I have been stressing we need to sink a lot of ships in order to remove the pretty severe uh, blockade that they have for us. But the good news is at least they'll probably eventually move away to stop the blockade happening in Northern Europe. That's my hope at least. So we're still um, really blasting this Dreadnought up here. Um, I think we're just going to have to let the St. George fall behind because we, we want us to keep up with this ship as much as possible in order to make sure we can sink it. It would be nice to go over here and sink this Marengo class as well. I mean, the, these battleships, remember, they're worth the same whether or not they're the Dreadnought, the newest Dreadnought, or your oldest pre-war battleship. So it's, it's unimportant for the number of points it gives for a blockade. In which case, it's you know kind of a disadvantage to what we did, uh, what I did. Should <laughs> you guys didn't, wasn't even advised to do this. Probably would have been advised not to do it when I scrapped my battleships. But let's have fun with it. I I figured let's try to get some better ships, and I did that by ooh wow blasting the hell out of this dreadnought. No, I mean I did that by scrapping a lot of ships to free up some budget for us to build some new stuff. We do have some torpedoes en route. Could it could work too, especially because it is stopped. I don't mind the St. George II just chugging along. These are supposed to be a little bit slower than her. They are. They are also supposed to be launching torpedoes, did they? Did you guys launch? Oh, maybe that was one of the people who launched. And good, the Marengo. Okay, so I think we can consider that ship done for. St. George is still blasting away. She's taken a few hits herself, though. We look at the damage on these ships is getting up there. So we'll, we'll try to head it off with these guys. They are going squad max. We're just trying to catch up so we can start doing some torpedo work on that. Gonna keep curving around as the ship supposedly show, slows down. Yeah, we've done some real work. We've destroyed both of the turrets on this side. They only have one gun firing at us, so two 11 inch guns. We're not too worried. Now they have pretty sizable armor, so it might take us a little while to mow them down, but you know, that's just part of the game. Yeah, and they, <laughs> oh good, it's only the light guns that are hitting us, that's fine. So, this is good. I'm, I'm content with the way this battle has gone. Uh, two new hero units, like I said. Uh, Thomas Loff has performed well, and we had that very valiant effort once again by... Where is she? Ah, the Drake. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Not sure of the exact pronunciation. Would have been nice to get this Magenta one more time, too. That's right, but they have moved all their battlecruisers into position. So we either go for that battleship with our entire force... Or we just go ahead and give up the ghost on it. Now, with the torpedoes hits, and I don't think these light cruiser hits are doing anything, we're going to swing back. Uh, maybe try to pick off a light cruiser or two on the edge. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this dreadnought, probably dead now. We're going to swing down past it. Just let our torpedoes finish it off, if possible. So, uh, maybe even just let the St. George fin finish it off, get the glory. Senior, okay. Looks like somebody's firing torpedoes. Uh, Drake's laying smoke, even though she's already sinking, but that's cool, you know, do your thing. Yeah, it's a Thomas Lava launching torpedoes. Uh, seeking more glory, of course. Uh, okay, so we will, how many torpedoes do you guys have left? Yeah, you guys have a fair amount. So we'll bring you by this dreadnought, see if we can get something from it. But this might be the end of the battle. Basically, we can sink this dreadnought. There's the Drake, she's sunk. And we'll just reconverge, see if we can pick off anybody. With the St. George II, that's the real one we're going to send, kind of like as the... Just testing the waters, really. Um, could get lucky and get some hits. St. George II is hit by the Marengo. Uh-huh, so that one's definitely still alive and kicking. And the St. George is out of main ammo. Well, that's all right, St. George. You've done well. And you know what? You still have torpedoes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two of them. So why don't you go ahead and drive yourself in there and see if you can pick up a kill. And that torpedo from Tomislav looks dead on. Boom! All right, very good, Tomislav. You've done exceptional work this uh, during this battle. So we'll just go ahead and bypass this, and we'll keep pushing down. Right now, we're just going to look for little opportunities to get any other kills. We have this Marengo class going down, Heavy Cruiser going down. We have some of our destroyers out here picking up survivors. The Gloyer, somebody mentioned, I saw in the comments already that it's like a light cruiser, I agree. Doesn't even have weapons over six inches, so it's not 
Not much of a heavy cruiser, is it? That armor is substantial, but other than that... Yeah, so we're just completely raking this dreadnought. I'm actually going to turn off firing for 10 minutes so that we don't continue to waste our ammunition. We already have this, the senior, St. George the original, senior. Senior's already uh, used all his ammo, so let's try to avoid that situation uh, happening too much. Another torpedo? Okay, come on. <laughs> this is ridic getting ridiculous. We might even have to do it for another 10 minutes. But it's good for them to practice their firing ac accuracy. Using secondary guns completely okay as well if we want to do that. So I'm just hoping we could pick off this Bujol class. That was my hope. Instead, we're actually getting hit by their... This is the same one, right? Oh, we've already destroyed one of the turrets here. It seems a little bold, but we can maybe even try to go after them. I'm going to do this, which is going to set them to max. One of these units, I think maybe the Sven Itzvan, um, cannot keep up, but that's fine. We want everyone who can. Since we've already destroyed one of their turrets, we've done some damage. Let's go ahead and try to get down there as fast as possible and see if we can grab maybe another kill. Uh, those battlecruisers are closing quick, though. I mean, that's what you would expect from battlecruisers. They have very good speed. Okay. Um. Hmm. And not only that, but they're actually turning back into their allies. So, let me think how much we've done. Dreadnought, battleship, heavy cruiser, battleship. So we sank three battleships and one heavy cruiser. And we're going to have some ships needing to enter port, but once they come out of port, that puts us at a pretty good... I think that puts us in a pretty good situation. That's probably like 24 points or so we knocked into port. I mean, uh, not sent to the bottom, so... I'm going to push on a little bit further just to see how things develop over here. But it doesn't look like... Ooh! Hey, very good job! Holy cow. And the Duke Ness, which one is? Or the... I don't know how to say that. Duquesne? I mean, it's probably not because French everything is different than what it looks like from an English standpoint. They do have crossfire, but their crossfire is actually... They've, we've destroyed their crossfire ability because they are down a turret, so they only, they're firing four 11-inch guns. That's really not much. But the line is the one we're worried about, of course. 27 knot. 9 14-inch broadside salvo. That's so deadly. Low armor. I mean, that's what you'd expect from a battlecruiser. Otherwise, it would just be a battleship, right? But um, this is actually not bad armor. Uh, turret's low. That's why we're destroying them. I see. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just keep going. Steady as she goes, and we'll see if anything develops. If we get hit, we'll just turn away. I think it'll be okay. We have enough um, supporting ships here that I don't think they'll be able to follow. And we'll try to squeeze our destroyers in here a little better, too. Okay, that's not what I want to see. St. George 2 just took another hit. Uh, we don't care, we don't care. Another near miss. This Marengo class is actually getting some pretty accurate fire on target. I don't like to see that. Hey, this is what I was hoping for a long time ago, is actually hitting this ship. And it's the Saeda, not the St. George II. Not Junior. Junior's not the one who got done. Yeah, in fact, both of these light cruisers. Saeda and the Taurus. Yeah, these are, are both hitting that light cruiser. I, I really thought it would be the St. George... Or St. Junior, sorry. Junior, because Junior's been on target for a long time, but... Mm, was not. Okay, we took a hit. The Prince Eugen. Uh, got some pretty good damage, unfortunately. That was the lion who just penetrated its belt. Oh my gosh. We're going to turn, and we're going to try to get broadsides off a little bit better. And we're not going to go into the battlecruisers. We're just going to stay at distance. So I think we might be able to take another light cruiser, but if we lose a dreadnought for it, obviously it's not worth it. I'm trying to snake these destroyers through the lines to get some torpedoes off, but 
Maybe it won't happen. I don't know. Taurus sights an unknown ship. Let's... Oh, okay. That's just these ships coming into range. I keep feeling like it's a good idea for us to pull off, but something in my head keeps preventing me from doing so. <laughs> Which is strange, I know. Oh, Fido, don't interrupt these guys. Okay. Um, I don't like the way this is developing. Hmm. They're going to run into some land here. What is that going to cause them to do? Probably continue to head south. So really, we either charge at these battle cruisers or we call it to an end. There is a small amount of wind now. It's not dead calm. It's just calm. Maybe that can work to our advantage. Okay, this is good. This is what we were waiting for, basically. Can we start sneaking a few hits in? Very low armor. Probably a penetration, even though it's only 13-inch shells. Okay, another one. Yeah, let's just start sneaking those hits in there. That's what we want. Let's try to sneak another one in. No, not that time, but that's okay. There it is. Got another 13-inch hit. Methodical. Slow and methodical. This is how we can win this fight. Staying at distance. Okay. Thomas Lop now getting in on the action for the Bujol class. Hmm. <laughs> I thought this said internet class. It's not. It's infernet class. <laughs> It's probably their best light cruiser, too. Not bad. Yeah, very interesting design. I think this is a five-sided broadside, which makes sense at 7,700 tons. Very fast, too. It's a good ship. Okay, we do have a lot of ships targeting the Lion class. So let's hope we can get a few hits. Not the other way around. This did not penetrate, though, thank goodness. Unfortunately, that also means... I mean, this can indicate that... We might not be penetrating them. I actually want to take a look at the data. They're 17,000 yards away. At 17,000 yards away. Yeah, we're, we should be penetrating because they, they have less than nine. Uh, they have nine inches, so we're below 20,000. But their 14 inches should definitely be penetrating. And they don't always, so it's not always going to be the case. Good, another hit for us. Why is it that we fire 11 13 inch guns? How is that possible? Why are we always firing 11? It should be 12 13 inch guns, right? But I always see it firing 11, which is very confusing. Okay, good. So even the Sven Itzvan is getting into the action, lobbing some very good 13 inch shells over at the Duchess. Duchesne? I don't know how to say this, I really don't. Duchess. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Duchess, but I don't know how to say it in French, so. Um, yeah, we've gotten some good effective fire down. Okay, another lion hit. And there's the 12 inch, that's much better. What I was hoping to see all along. Let's get the St. George tone a little bit better. Okay. And these guys are kind of walking into our fire as well, in the point, I mean, to the point that we can probably make a good run at them with torpedoes as well. So we are getting a little bit close. I don't want these light cruisers firing at them though. I really don't. Oh man, Prince Organ took a brutal hit. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just check out the flooding. No flooding. We're going to call it off. That's it. Ah, that's the last of it. Wait, what the hell is the Prince Organ doing? Please, yes. <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and move in with our destroyers. And that will clear the line for our battleships to escape. We'll keep pressuring with these ships because they can all retreat pretty easily, I think. Yeah, this one's good. This one's good to stay. St. George is good to stay. The Taurus can only go 23... Oh, 21, so we'll get these guys to pull out. And the destroyers are really fast, so they can stay as well. Fido. Another fast one, so she can kind of stick around as well. I don't really know what's going on here. Okay, our torpedo guys. 
Minor brass turned together, very good. And they have eh, a few torpedoes left, I already checked. Okay, let's swing in now. Go ahead and make our run at the battle cruisers. See if we can get any any work done. Oh, well, it's not a good start. <laughs> it wasn't a, a killing blow though, so that's promising. Go ahead, guys, and target these battle cruisers. That's your target right now. Yes, very good. Get you guys to target them as well. And you guys to target them as well. Have the same charge, just come around the back side. There's a, some torpedo launching. <laughs> and you know the Sven, Sven is still contributing up here. It's good. I like that. Up, oh, all those torpedoes missed because now they're turning. Probably engaged a little bit too soon, but that's okay. We're actually getting some good shots off. I don't know if the six inches will penetrate or not, but at this range they might. Let's just take a look. Probably not, huh? But we could get lucky. Oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Thomas Love. <laughs> oh. Bum, bum, bum. Well, I'm sorry, my good friend. You fought bravely. And unfortunately, courage under fire is not always rewarded with a victorious outcome. Sometimes being courageous is exactly the reason why you get killed. So that's, I mean, of course it's on me, the commander, that we're putting you into this very reckless situation, but maybe we'll squeak out with a, a lion class kill anyway. So I see a lot of, a lot of shots, a lot of fire being laid down on her. Let's get these destroyers in. I'm kind of committing now. I'm like, you know what? If we lost the Thomas Luff, we're sending everyone in. Gonna have to get these guys to go a lot slower. I actually want the Prince Eugen to, no. We can't even detach her because if we do, she's just gonna go to some crazy speed to try to get home as fast as possible and possibly sink herself. Okay, see this is what I mean. I even need to turn back, go down to like six. Okay, what's going on here? Bravo, Saida, we got since and found that's actually good. Good damage to the Lion class, who's at? Heavy damage, hey, come on guys, keep it up then. Let's avenge the Tomaslav. We can do this, together. Yeah, really good. Ron's Prince, Ezerzog, Rudolph also getting in on the action. Very good. He does, he's not even done firing. He's only firing his front turret, but I'm just trying to slow down a whole bunch in order to get um, Prince Wigan back to us as quickly as possible. Uh, St. George, you can go ahead and move down this way a little bit. Just because we'd like to sink her. We'd so like to sink her. Lots of hits, too. I don't know if many are penetrating, because she has pretty good armor, but... Uh, so close. We're so close. We'll go ahead and bracket them with our formation, and hopefully encourage some torpedoes to launch. Okay. Jupiter's taking a pounding, but did actually absorbed it pretty well. More like cruisers. How are you doing, Prince Ogan? Good. I think you will be successfully uh, saved. So, keep going, keep going. Okay, St. George 2 is starting to take uh, some real blows. Let's turn you guys in, turn you out, leave you straight, do <laughs> everything, get everybody to do everything. Um,. We are kind of breaking up their formation, though. Very dangerous, obviously, these torpedoes. I mean, enemy torpedoes could very easily hit us. We, we just haven't gotten any shots on this javelin class. Yeah, just a few, and it already went to medium damage, but... This one's still in effect. 
Come on, guys. You actually, I'm gonna force you to go that fast because we need you. We need your speed. We're starting to take a few hits. This is getting really dangerous, but I'm just this has to be the way. There's a torpedo. Come on, St. George, turn, turn with them, turn with them. Okay, you guys, bring it in. No, don't go to AI. Yes, we got him. We got him. Ha <laughs> ha. We got him. We got him. That's great. So happy we got him. <sighs> okay, that's good. That's a relief. A big relief. We just need to keep continue the pressure, and hopefully we can sink him. They're turning hard. This is good. This is good for us. Okay, our St. George 2 is not going to launch torpedoes because she's on the outside of a friendly formation. I'm going to have the Bravo maybe double back in to get torpedoes off. Oh, wow. Did, is, is that going to be a hit? I think this is the torpedo right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. The little wake, the white wake and the little black line. So that looks like it should be a hit. It's inside the ship, according to my graphics. Which I guess doesn't mean everything, but I feel like it should. <laughs> We have the Fido coming down. This is good. I think we're in good shape here. Okay, it missed. Hard to, hard to starboard. Quick, get to the lion. Oh my gosh. Avoid getting smashed completely. Come on, Fido. Come in and finish him up. Oh, another miss. Come on, guys. This is really important. Oh my gosh. Bravo. <laughs> it's absolute chaos. Complete chaos. But that's okay. I think if we stick to our plan here, which was chaos to begin with, we might be able to sink this lion. Oh my gosh. Well, Junior went down also in search of the prize. Now it's starting to not be worth it. I'm sorry, St. George, too. I, I put you in a brutal situation. But the Dramadar is launching torpedoes the wrong way, of course. No, target, everyone should be targeting the lion class. Yes. This is the one we need to sink. Uh-huh, well, we sink the Duchess as well. I mean, I'm not going to complain. We probably would do well to sink both of them now, considering we lost our St. George. We'll get these guys to keep limping in. They are. Let's get them up to 10. I'm just hoping 10 is still not too much. What in God's name are you guys doing? Go back down this way. Okay, so lots of hits on this on this um, line class still, but I don't know if these six inch shells are penetrating or not. How are you guys doing? Lots of torpedoes left. That means at least one on each side, so. Okay, let's get you guys in here. That's another torpedo, looks good. Oh, please be a hit. You can't see it, but I don't know, was it a hit? Turn you guys in, turn you out. Yes, another hit for, against the Lion class. <laughs> Who's going through? <laughs> it wasn't exactly what I meant, Taurus, but that's fine. You swinging in, you're swinging out. And you guys are coming back down. Still more lion hits. Dutch is still firing away with her heavy guns against the Fido. Fido's unaffected so far. Fire started though. Ooh. I don't like that. Yeah, this is I think we're gonna take both of these battle cruisers. It was bold, of course. I mean, you can tell that we're, we lost St. George, we lost the Tomislav. Two amazing ships have both gone down in our hubris that we could actually, hubris, I mean pride, you know, uh, that we could actually take down these two battlecruisers. But having paid that price, we may in the end actually be able to take them down. Okay, let's keep going. Keep going. I need torpedo launches. Please, torpedo launches. What? I mean, good lord. You're completely red. Get out of here. 
Just go home. Fly home, buddy. I work alone. We're just, it's like sharks circling their prey. But nobody's launching the final torpedo. There it is. Alright, so now let's switch targets onto the Duchess class. She's heavy damage on fire. Yeah, okay, now we have to switch fire over to this, this one. You don't have any torpedoes. Well, I'm leaving you in the fight anyway. Duchess class. Okay, that's the max speed you can go now. I get it. Okay, switch over to Duchess. Where are your torpedoes? Uh, you guys have plenty. Move in. Begin the attack run. And you guys as well. Please switch over to the Duchess. And let's try to bring her head home as well. Spalato. Very Italian name. <laughs> no, I guess that would be Gelato. But she's launching torpedoes. Ah, she's turning quite a lot though. Oh my gosh, the heavy guns hit my destroyer. The Spalato just took a pounding. Get out of there. You forced them to turn. I think that's all we can really ask of you. Just get out of there now. I mean, we can force them back into my line. Yeah, these guys are actually getting their broadsides off, so that's effective. Get out of there, Spilato. Save yourself. Yeah, you go home. Yeah, we got the Duchess turning back towards us. This is good. Oh my gosh, we're just getting raked, though, by enemy fire. Come back in a little more. We really could use the Dreadnoughts to do something. Turn back. Okay, let the Bravo turn back. You just go like this. Don't hit each other. Good. And you just keep pushing them towards our Dreadnoughts. Yes. Oh, the Fido's on fire. Good God, man. Take care of that fire. You have enough ammo, it could just blow up the whole ship. Slow you down a little, I don't think it really helps to put out fires at lower speeds, but let's do whatever we can. Okay, come back in. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> All our destroyers are in really bad shape. Still getting some hits on the line, that's not the important one though. We want our dreadnoughts keep moving in a little bit more. The battleship, we're, we're hurting them towards our, our dreadnoughts, and there we go starting to actually hit them. Very good, that's mission accomplished then. The hurting worked. Line hit by another torpedo, probably unnecessary at this point, but I'm not going to complain. We, there, we need the Duchess, you guys have you, yeah, you're all focusing on the Duchess, so that's hopefully what these guys are doing as well. Yeah, one more line, but some more Duchess hits. Now, she has the thick ar armor, so we probably need our Dreadnoughts to engage her. Let's get the Fido to start. I think she's going to turn in. She is turning in pretty hard. Okay, there. We kind of dissuaded her from... Oh, that's a nice one. Looks like it's going to be a hit. Slow it down. Boom! Ha ha ha. Fantastic, okay. This ship is almost completely destroyed. So I think this is it. I didn't expect this part two to go on for so long. What a game changer this episode has been. This uh, battle, I should say, has been. We lost two brave ships from the Tomislav and the St. George II. Um, one of the bravest ships, of course, we lost was Drake all the way over here. I mean, this battle has just gone on forever. We carried them all the way down here. What an engagement. You can just imagine how they'd be writing about this in the in the history books, how the engagement began with the one of the oldest ships, <laughs> the St. George, um, the original hero unit from the Austro-Hungarian Navy, scouting out um, the French force that was sent to assault uh, bombardment target on land. 
And uh, as things developed, both heavy ships, the, um, the heavy ships from both nations got involved through some heroic efforts by the Austro-Hungarian fleet. They were able to head off and sink two of the older battleships. I think we have, uh, that was later. This is the original and we swung up. I thought we had two, but it was a, oh, it was a heavy cruiser. Okay, so they, the Tomislav who would later be sunk um, was able to destroy single-handedly, well, with a very fortunate magazine explosion, but couldn't have been done unless the shot landed. Took down one of the heavy cruisers. Later was made uh, the with a reversal of fortunes, was killed in the same manner, her own magazine going up. But part of that, a uh, heroic loss, because uh, in she died in the effort to contain the French battle cruisers, which we, now we have done, and um, you know we may have lost the Saint George too in the process of corralling these two, but we're going to end up taking both of their heads home on a platter. So this is uh, wow, it's been a very long engagement, and my voice is totally shot. <laughs> what a blast, though! It was a lot of fun. So let's just go ahead and mop up the rest of these and. Then our crew deserves some, I mean, are in need of some much, much deserved shore leave after this. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of these ships. We can waste all the rest of our ammunition doing this. If this javelin close ship gets close, we'll just go ahead and target her immediately. In fact, I'll just do that right away, just to kind of discourage. We don't have to be going fast anymore. Speed is very irrelevant. St. George is trying to go on land. I mean, you're talented, certainly, but you're not meant to be a tank, that's for sure. So we'll chase after this destroyer. Um, make sure we have a line cloud. We get these ships. Okay, yeah, they, there's some other ships over here. We should probably switch over to targeting these destroyers. Yeah, did they switch over? I forgot. I didn't see. Yes, and we'll slow these guys down to like 20 as well. You know, get the Spilato out of here. We're just trying to this final mop-up action. Get the Fido to pass by these. I think she has some torpedoes loaded now. Yeah, plenty of torpedoes loaded now. So, but this is the final action of the game. The Navara just launched torpedoes. Where's she launching them at? Uh, the Duchess. Okay, very good. And we're going to make it. I mean, Prince Oigen, not, not in great shape. Still has a little bit of flooding even. So we'll slow down even to six to be extra, extra careful about her. And hopefully get on this destroyer before... Oh, I think she, she's picking up survivors, but um, we might as well try to kill her as well. Prince Oigen, despite the damage, still laying down some accurate weapon fire. Another hit on the Duchess. She's probably going down now. I mean, probably was already. Yeah. So, mop this one up. Probably go to a little bit faster speed. Here we go. Get our fight. Yeah, we're going to kill that Javelin class as well. There it is. Touch is hit by another torpedo. Good God, that's, a, that's enough torpedoes, lads. <laughs> Give their crew a chance to at least get out of here. Start detaching some of these ships like the Kaigo. Yeah, we can detach you. Go home. You've served us well. Get into port as soon as possible. And I think the Duchess is going to sink, so let's head over to the Lion. She's probably also going to sink, but just to finish her off. Hate to have a casualty this late in the game, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. That one's sunk now. Duchess, I'm sure, is sinking. So we'll just start letting all these guys go over to um, AI control. I think everyone will eventually be AI control under... Let's get this guy to slow down quite a bit. I think they'll mostly be under AI control with this. Oh, good. So this one. No, 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 no. What are you doing, Prince Oigen? You go very slow. Do not rupture that bulkhead. What is your speed? I, I was not looking at the reports. Did her bulkhead rupture again? No, she's still not doing okay. I'm going to get her to just go complete stop. You know what? Screw it. Just go complete stop. Can't risk it. Okay. So now we'll just 
go full speed. Okay, have run three hours. We can always pause the spacebar. Just let everyone go back to AI control. What are you doing, Prince Oigen? What the bloody hell are you doing? See, they just they try to kill themselves. Yeah, okay. You know what? Go two just to get yourself out of range so that you don't keep attaching, reattaching. There. Okay, they're all switching back to AI control. What in good God's name are you doing? Okay, <laughs> I think I think she's listening now. We only have to wait, you know, 500 minutes, and it dead stopped in the water. Uh, hopefully, she this yeah she's gonna she's controlled the flooding now. Okay, so fine. Oh boy, we sighted an unknown ship. Are they coming back? Oh my gosh. Well, the good news is they can. We welcome that because we can get these guys to start moving. You need to not move towards Prince Eugen though. And we can actually go after them if they want. It's just a light cruiser. I don't want the Prince Eugen to uh, rejoin combat, so I want to make sure we don't leave con like control range of her. So, let's keep going fast like this. So we'll just keep doing circles over here. So our final mention for the, uh, oh, the ship just keeps coming back, doesn't it? You know what, fine. We'll go see, nope, 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 nope. We want to not lose range of the Prince Oigan. We don't want to be so f close that we reattach, but we don't want to be so far away that, who's limiting flooding? Navara, Navara, Navara. Okay, stop, pause. Oh, your flooding is at one, okay, that's fine. Yep, so now let's just go. No! Don't do anything. Don't move. No, where are you going? No. <laughs> Catch up to her. <laughs> Quickly. Get her off. Quick. <laughs> Before she does something stupid which ruptures her bulkhead. Yes. Okay, good. Slow down. Okay, get you to slow down to eight. Preserve the Prinzo again. Okay, now let's just do this nice and calm. Everyone go down to zero. And we'll just sleep the night away. Yes, just like that. Very good. Yeah, go ahead. Very good. Okay, so a, fi a final honorable mention to the three ships we lost here. The Drake, the Thomas Luff, and the St. George II. We might have lost some other ships, but um, let's just be honest. They weren't as important. I don't think so. We might have only lost those. Yeah, we lost another destroyer somewhere along the line, but it... Yeah, I remember losing that one now. But ultimately, uh, incredible, incredible victory. So the loss of a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and two destroyers. I mean, when you say it that way, it doesn't seem as important. But when we talk about losing St. George too, it immediately seems more important, right? But the loss of those three ships for the loss of a dreadnought, killing of a dreadnought, two battle cruisers, two battleships, and three heavy cruisers is just... An amazing victory, um, a truly decisive victory. I think this will restore um, control of the Mediterranean to the Austro-Hungarian people. So I do want to take a look briefly at how how far we went in this one. We started here, our two forces collided, and then we just got tangled up and mixed it all around. And Oh, we had a one turn here. That's right, that was the initial turn where we sunk a few of their ori original ships, the battleship, two heavy cruisers. Came over here, sank their dreadnought, came down here, I think. And then we just basically headed off their two battle cruisers who were lagging, who were, I think were trying to protect the rest of their battle group, but in doing that, they um, themselves lost their lives. So, 
a really fantastic episode. I enjoyed the this entire battle a lot. It's, after all those minor engagements, you know, we were just waiting the climax for this climax. Like we were waiting for the the tension was building up to this point. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm happy that finally we had a, a big fleet encounter. Um, huge victory point swing. In fact, I'm kind of surprised they had that many victory points and we had that few, considering we didn't lose any of the battleship or battlecruiser class ships and they lost five. It shows you how little a lot of those uh, ships were worth. And I'm going to decide this one and we're going to name it SG2 plus T for the Junior and Thomas Loff losses. Very good. Well, I will definitely call this episode to a close here. Thanks for watching. We will pick up this war in the next video where we continue our efforts to slow the blockade of our people and uh, avenge the loss of our crew on the Thomas Loft, the St. George II, and the Drake. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.